Hello everybody, it is Mint Manatee back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the super adorable Spider-Man Tsum Tsum. This is my own original design um, and be sure to check out my Instagram, I will put it on the screen, as well as my Etsy shop. I sell um, a bunch of different Tsum Tsums and creations uh, and I will link that down in the description box below. Uh, without further ado, let's get on with the video. The that you'll be needing in order to create your Spider-Man are um, bands in the colors of black, white, uh, blue, and red, as well as a hook and a C-clip. This is a hook-only design um, where I cannot make it on the loom, so we're just going to be needing a hook for this. All of the approximate band counts and values will be in the description box below. So for this first round, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making Spider-Man's arms. I'm going to be making these in red, and these are just going to be magic rings in, with a total of six stitches. You'll also be needing a C-clip to um, mark your stitches. So we're going to take a single red rubber band and wrap it around your hook, creating three loops. We're going to take another single red rubber band, slide that cap band on and reclaim like that, and then we're going to slide it through, creating a not tight slip knot. Then we're going to go back in through that cap band, uh -oh. and then we're going to take another single red band, slide it just through the cap band, reclaim, and slide it through the other two, like that. So now you've created one stitch right here. This little V shape counts as one stitch as well as um, this one on your hook. So you have two stitches in total. We're gonna go back in through that center cap band and just pull it through and on and slide through. Continue this process until we have a total of six stitches five little V's and then six will be counted as the band around your hook. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, one more. I'm just gonna slide it through like so. All right, and so now as you can see, I have um, all six stitches and I'm going to slide my um, hook through that first stitch grab a single red rubber band and just slide it through and reclaim. What you're going to do is you're going to put this on um, an extra hook, a pencil, or an extra loom that you're not going to be using uh, just to store it. We're going to be making a total of four of these. So you guys are going to pause the video and make three more and come back to me when you guys are done. So I have all four of my feet complete. I'm just going to set those to the side. And now we're going to create the eyes of Spider-Man. I looked at the actual Tsum Tsum after I'd created this and realized that the eyes are um, have a black rim and a white um, center. So I'm just going to change that now. I'll have two different um, Spider-Mans. I think it'll look a little bit um, cool just to change it up a bit. So I'm going to start by chaining five loops. I'm going to take a single band and wrap it around twice creating two loops in black and I'm just gonna chain make a single chain of five so that's two three four and finally five so after five then we're going to slip knot the end and don't tug it too tight and then we're just going to keep it on the um, opposite end of our hook like that. Now, sorry about this guys, I had to do a real quick background change. Um, this is currently outside so if there's any like noises that's probably because I am outside. Uh, and anyways, back where we left off. After we slip knot the end, we're just going to go in for round two, which is we're um, gonna single crochet, increase, increase, and then single crochet. And for the cap band, we're going to single crochet and white, 
and if that doesn't make any sense I'll show you guys uh, so we're gonna go into this first little black loop as you can see right here and then we're going to single crochet so single crocheting we're just gonna grab a single black band pull it through like that and pull it through um, and then increase so we're gonna go into the next stitch which is this guy right here we're gonna increase which means just a single crochet in that same uh, loop uh oh sorry about this guys so we're gonna go back into that loop right there sorry if you guys can't see this is black so it's a bit harder um, and then we're going to increase again so we're just doing the same thing that we did the last round or not the last round the last stitch and after we have this stitch complete we're going to um, do a single crochet in the next and then we are going to do another single crochet in the cap band. For this next um, round, we're going to do this in white, and we're going to take uh, our, our hook and go through the black loop, and we're going to single crochet, and you don't need to do a color change for this, and then in the next loop, we're going to decrease, and I'll show you guys how to decrease. We're going to go into the first um, little half of the um, first stitch, and then we're going to go into the last half of the second stitch, like so. And we're just going to um, single crochet, or do what you, the process in which you would single crochet. We're going to do that again, go into the first and the second loop. So, so far we've done a single crochet and then two decreases. And then lastly, we're going to do a single crochet in the white. Sorry about that, I had to get a couple more white bands. Okay, and now that we have done that in the white, we're going to single crochet through this final little loop in white again. Or sorry, not in white, in black. Undo that. And we're just going to do that in white. <laughs> sorry, guys. And we're just single crocheting. And again, no um, stitch change. Okay, next round, we're going to do two um, decreases in white. So go into that first loop, half of the loop, and then the second half of the loop. And we're going to just do a regular decrease. And then we're going to decrease again. Still using our white. And lastly, I believe, let's look at the pattern. Um, then we're going to do a single crochet in the final stitch. And if you can see, there's like this little V right here. We're going to use that. Go through that, both loops. And we're going to just single crochet in black. Still no stitch change. So yours should be looking like this so far. This is kind of like the top part of our eye for now. I'm going to do three single crochets now in black. So one, two, the second one and lastly three which will be right here oh sorry guys like that all right so this should be our eye so far it looks a little funky right now but once we place it on the body it'll look a lot better um we're going to pause the video and just repeat that entire process so that way you have two and come back to me when you guys are done. The previous round I forgot to show you guys once you're finished you just want to um take a single 
black rubber band and slip knot it through and tie relatively tight not too tight that the band snaps um so that should be your eye i'm finished making both eyes now now we're going to get started on the body Round one of our body for our Spider-Man Tsum Tsum, we're going to be using um, red and creating a magic ring of six, six stitches. The uh, same thing that we did for the arms and the legs. So I'm just going to do this a little bit um, quicker than I did when showing you guys how to make the arms and legs. Just because I'm sure you guys get the idea by now. And I believe this is the last magic ring that we'll be making for the des this design. So it might get boring if we were to make any more magic rings. And again, it's just going to be six stitches all the way around. I believe I have one or two more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my stitch marker and add it to the band that's around my hook. So your stitch should look like this. I just clipped on that C-clip. Um, and just ignore that. That's so that way we know when to start and stop. Alright, now um, for round two, we're going to be just increasing all the way around until we reach our stitch marker in red. And that's just two single crochets in the same stitch. Like so. We're just going to continue this pattern until we reach our stitch marker. I apologize if there's any noise in the background. I do have um, little siblings. Okay, we're almost done. Final two stitches. Sorry guys if I'm going a little bit slow. Okay. Now what we want to do is we're going to remove our stitch marker and add it to the band that's around our hook, like so. Round number three, we're going to be single crocheting and then increasing and just continuing that pattern all the way around. Uh, so in the first stitch, I'm gonna go in um, and just single crochet. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to just increase. Like so, and then I'm just going to single crochet, followed by an increase, single, increase, and I know this might get a little bit confusing, so... Bear with me here. Single crochet. Increase. Single. Followed by an increase. Single. And then for our last and final stitch, it should be an increase. Like so. All right, now we're gonna remove our stitch marker and add it to the band that's around our hook. Round four, we're gonna be single crocheting, single crocheting, and then increasing. So I'm just gonna go into this first stitch single crochet, single crochet in the next stitch, and then I'm going to increase, and I believe this will get us to 24 total stitches around. 
single crochet, single crochet, increase, oh no, my stitch got caught, there we go, increase, right, single crochet, single crochet, followed by an increase. Single, uh oh, and then another single. Sorry, <laughs> my little siblings, and there's also just so happens to be, um, uh, the gardeners are mowing the lawn, so that's very convenient when I'm trying to film this tutorial. So please don't mind that. Alright, now single crocheting, followed by another single crochet, then an increase. Like so. Single crochet. Single crochet. And lastly, in the stitch with your stitch marker, we're going to just increase. And then we're going to remove our stitch marker and add it to the band that's around our hook. Like that. Five through eight, which is going to be a total of four rounds. We're just going to be single crocheting um, all the way around in red. I'm going to be doing rounds five with you, and then you are going to pause the video and do the other three um, by yourself. So I'm going to take um, just single crocheting in red until I reach my stitch marker. And the reason I do these kinds of things is because I don't want to make the video um, longer than it already is. Because these videos tend to be between like an hour and a half and two hours. So every bit of time counts. Because I really want to try and get this uploaded soon. Um, if you guys are watching this, then it's already uploaded. But I've been literally working on this video on and off for about a month now. Just because I haven't had much time to film at all. And even though it is the summer and I'm off school currently, uh, I'm still even busier than I am normally with school. So I do apologize about that. Hopefully I can get um, another tutorial up soon. I'm currently actually working on the um, dog, the Loomy Groomy Ramblum dog, which is my own original design for that. It's going to be like a one or two part tutorial, uh, and hopefully I'll upload that soon as well. And if you guys don't really know what the dog I'm talking about, there's a picture on my Instagram. I gave it away to my swim coach, but uh, I am planning on making another one. So that will be exciting. And Feel free, guys, to uh, request any tutorials that you would like, um, whether it be Lumi Groomy, uh, two-dimensional characters, or just bracelet designs. Alright, so that is round number five. You guys are now going to pause the video and complete three more rounds, uh, just doing the same exact thing, single crocheting all the way around in red. And um, I'll meet you guys back here once you're finished with that. Round nine, we're going to be doing single crochets all around, <clears throat> excuse me, but the first five stitches are going to be in blue, and then six stitches in red, and then the rest in blue. Uh, for my blue, I'm using this navy blue. It's a little bit different than this one, which is the ocean jelly. I just wanted to change up the colors a little bit, but we're still doing single crochets all the way around. 
So first five stitches are gonna be in blue. We're gonna use a do a stitch change, which is just gonna be a single or um, a slip knot. Don't tie it tight at all. Um, and then that counts as one stitch of a single crochet. We do this one so that way it doesn't look wonky when we're changing colors. We're doing five total single crochets in this blue. I'm currently on the fourth and now the fifth. Like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to stitch change again and we're going to do um, six total in red. Just grabbing a couple more red bands. All right, so now we're going to just slip knot. That counts as one red stitch. Two. Three. If I can get it through. There we go. Four. Five. And lastly, six. And then the rest of ours... Um, is going to be in blue. So we're gonna do that stitch change again. Just a slip knot. And then we're going to just single crochet the rest around in blue. Like so. We are almost there. Just continue working your way up to that stitch marker. Okay, now I'm on my last stitch, single crocheting. Now I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and add it to the band that's around my hook. For round 10, we're going to do the same color pattern as we did in round 9, which was the last round, but we're going to be adding the feet on stitches 5 and 11. Um, so I'll show you guys how to add the feet. We're still just going to go about um, our same color pattern as we did before. And for this, we're going to skip over that color change loop, which is this really small one right there. So we're going into our actual stitch because that doesn't count as a stitch. And instead of doing a color change because we're still using the blue as we did the last round, um, we're just going to do a regular single crochet. And then that was one, two, three, and then the next stitch, which is four, and then we're going to go into this stitch right here, and we're going to grab our feet, or arms, I have them right here on my loom, I'm just going to remove that real quick, and even though this is still red, um, it uh, we're just gonna still single crochet it pretend like the foot's not even there and just single crochet it like so and then actually instead of single crocheting it we have to make a stitch marker or um, a slip stitch so instead of single crocheting sorry about that we're just gonna do um, a color change all right and then we're going to now Single crochet, six stitches in red. Two. Three. Four. Alright, so we've done a total of 10 stitches now. Um, 
for the 11th stitch, which is this one right here, we're going to grab our another foot or arm and we are actually just single crocheting this one instead of doing the slip stitch like so. All right, now we're gonna do the slip stitch, go into the next um, stitch and just ignore that little baby loop right there because that doesn't count. Um, and we're just going to single crochet all the way around for the rest, still using our, sti our slip stitch because we're changing colors. And just single crocheting all the way around until we reach our stitch marker. I apologize if I haven't really been explaining things as well. Um, if you guys do have any questions, I will be answering all of them in the comments down below uh, in hopes of clarifying any confusion that this tutorial did not help with. All right, we're almost there. Sorry, my dog just barked. <laughs> All right, and now for our uh, last stitch right here, we're just single crocheting and adding our stitch marker to the band that is around our hook, like so. For this, now we're going to temporarily fasten off. So what we're gonna do is take, um, remove our hook. And how I temporarily fasten off is I take my C-clip or stitch marker and go into the next um, stitch and just kind of like hook it there. Um, just temporarily while we add the eyes. So we're gonna grab our eyes and a couple black rubber bands. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you guys how to add the eyes as well as the um, slip stitches. So I'm going to be adding a total of four. There's already one added for me right here from when we um, fastened it off. Uh, and so I'm just going to go from the opposite end of uh, where my original slip stitch was placed and just make one and tug it decently tight, not too tight that it snaps, like that. And then I'm going to do one in the middle. It doesn't really matter which stitch you go through, um, as long as it's relatively in the center, like that. And now for this bottom one right here. Like so, okay. So now that we have that down, um, we're just gonna kind of do that for the, we're gonna do that for the other eye. Um, and now we are going to position the eye in where we would want it to go. I think that eye is probably gonna go there. Just um, experiment with where you would like your eyes to go um, when we place them. I think that looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to place the eyes. I'm going to show you guys how to place one eye and then um, I'm going to go off camera and place the other eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in to this um, bottom stitch right here through the back. So as you can see the back. Um, and we're going to just still using my thumb to keep the eye in place slide that slip stitch through. Uh oh, it's a little bit harder to do on camera. All right, slide it through and make sure it still remains on your hook in the back. So keep that on your hook. I'm using my pointer finger to um, keep it on my hook. Now we're gonna go in through this back, uh, another back stitch again. Just slide that through, still keeping it on our hook like that. Just continue that for all of your slip stitches. Slide it through, keeping it on my hook. Then the final one, which is down here. Slide it through and keep it on my hook like that. Okay, so now I have all four um, stitches 
or slip stitches on my hook. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through like a random stitch right here, grab um, a, band that, a band that is lying around, and we're gonna slip knot it through all of our stitches. Just slide it pretty tightly like that. And that's normally how I add the eyes. Um, you guys are going to go off camera and do the same exact thing, or I'm going to go off camera and do the same exact thing. You guys just pause the video and come back to me when you have finished that other eye attachment. So this is the completed um, eye placement look. There was this random white band. Um, I might try and remove that uh, later, but... Um, now what we're going to be doing is single crocheting all the way around uh, for four rounds and we're doing the same color pattern as we did for round nine and round ten except we're not adding any feet so i'm just gonna remove my stitch marker and um put it around my hook and now i'm going to do five single crochets i'm gonna do um this round with you and then you guys are going to pause the video and do um three more of the same rounds it's just single crochet one two three four and lastly five and so as you can see, there's like a little stitch, um, slip stitch right here. We're just going to skip over that one and go into this one right here. And then that will be our fifth. And then for the, um, now we're going to do six rounds of, or not six rounds, six stitches in red. So I'm going to use my slip stitch. And then that counts as one, two, three, four, five, and then six. And now, as you can see, there's another slip stitch right here. We're just gonna skip over that and go into the next one. And now we're slip stitching because we're changing from red to blue. And then we're going to single crochet for the rest of the way around. Until we reach our stitch marker. I'm actually thinking about making tutorials on maybe all the Marvel characters, Tsum Tsum style. Uh, what do you guys think? Because I do now have a pattern for Thor. Um, so I think that might do pretty well. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because the Tsum Tsum patterns do take quite a long time to film and make. But yeah, be sure to leave a comment and, um, see what other patterns you would like to see tutorials of. Okay, now I'm going to remove my stitch marker, add it to, ba to the band that's around my hook. Alright, now you guys are going to pause the video and um, just do three more rounds of the exact same thing that we just did. You guys can rewind it if you didn't entirely understand some parts. Um, make sure you are slip stitching when you change from blue to red or red to blue. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys uh, once you're done with those three rounds. Okay, so I finished um, the final three rounds of that last kind of um, set of four. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be single crocheting all the way around in red. And we're going to add the feet on stitches two and eight. So I'm going to just put my hook in and slip stitch. 
because we're changing from blue to um, red. I'm just gonna kind of put the camera up a little bit more. And now since this is stitch two, I'm gonna grab my feet or one of my feet and just single crochet that on. So that was the second stitch. Third. Four. Fifth. Since this one is a stitch, um, a slip stitch from the, from the last round, sorry. We're just gonna skip over that one. Six. Seven. And lastly, eight. And for stitch eight, we're going to put the um, last foot on. And just slip, or er, and just single crochet. And then we're just going to finish single crocheting through the rest of the round, or through the rest of the stitches, until we reach our stitch marker. My goal is to hopefully get this video under an hour because um, I'm pretty sure we're about 30 to 40 minutes in so far. That way I can get it uploaded faster. Oops. My stitch just came undone. All right, there we go. Fixed it. Okay, almost finished. Okay, so I have two more left, one and this is the last stitch, I'm just single crocheting, adding my stitch marker around my hook, and that is it for round number 15. We're going to temporarily fasten off and add the spider to the back of the suit. Um, and I will show you guys how to do that. Um, here's just a quick reference. That's what the spider looks like. We're going to start off with a magic ring of six total stitches uh, using our red. And I know I believe I said that that was going to, the um, starting magic ring of the body was going to be the last one. But this really is the last one. Because I kind of forgot about it. Okay, uh oh, my stitches keep falling off. Okay, so we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the next stitch and just slide a single red band through all of the stitches and create a slip stitch like that. And then we're going to um, add the other um, like stitch leg things. We're gonna add a total of um, four slip stitches. So as you can see, I'm just going in through this um, stitch and slip stitching. And then I'm gonna go down here to this stitch right there and creating a slip knot like so. And then I think I'll add, uh, yeah, one more right here. That way it looks like a spider. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same exact thing. Just add a total of four um, slip knotted bands. One. Two. Three, 
Then we have the fourth one right here. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of looks like a spider. The reason we added a total of eight is because um, spiders have eight legs. And I'll show you guys how to attach the um, spider to the back of the suit. So you're going to try and find um, kind of a center area of where it would be um, best to attach it. And then we're going to go in through the top, or not through the top, through the inside, and pull down that stitch. Keep it on your hook. So this is like similar process to what we did for our, um, for our, uh, eyes. But when you're attaching these, you want to leave like a little bit of a space, um, so that way it looks like legs. So when I'm attaching, I'm going to do a couple of stitches away from it and then just kind of pull it in. So that way that looks like a leg. And then I'm going to leave it on my hook. Um, I kind of lost it right there. And I'm going to continue pulling it through. So just keep it on my hook and pull all of your little spider legs through. And I'm going to do the same for the other two of them all right and just continue this process um and then i'll show you guys how to tie it off we're also going to do the other side as well um so just pause the video and finish doing pulled that. all of the slip knots through um and here is the back end i kind of just um looped it or i uh, put my hook through um another one of these um bands on the inside that way it stays in place I grabbed an extra band and now I'm just going to slide it through all of these loops and slip knot it pretty tightly like so. All right, so now you have your spider on the back and we can continue um, to finish off our Spider-Man Zoom Zoom. 16, we're going to be single crocheting, single crocheting, and then decreasing. I'll show you guys how to decrease in our blue. So we're going to go into our first stitch right here, and I, um, as you can see, there is still a slip stitch um, just past that. Um, and we're going to do a single crochet um, slip stitch. Sorry, we're going to slip stitch since we're changing from our red to blue. And then we're going to single crochet right here and then i'll show you guys how to decrease this is my way of decreasing we're going to go into the first stitch and just like grab that first little loop right there and then we're going to go into the second and grab the back loop so the front loop and now the back loop and we're going to just pretend that that's a single crochet so that counts as a decrease now we're going to do a regular single crochet another single crochet and then we're going to decrease again. So go into that first loop and then the second. And decrease. So single. Single. Followed by a decrease. Like so. We're single crocheting single crochet followed by a decrease single single decrease single Single. And lastly, we're going to decrease like so. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round 17, we're going to be single crocheting and then decreasing. So I'm going to um, skip over this um, stitch right here because that was a part of our slip stitch. And I'm just going to single crochet, 
followed by a decrease. Single crochet. And then decreasing. And so what the decreases do is that they limit the um, uh, rows around. That way we can close off our creation. Uh oh. A couple of my loops came undone. Sorry guys, my loops came undone. So I just finished my single crochet, now I'm going on to my decrease. Single crochet, decrease, single, decrease, single, decrease. All right. Now I'm going to remove my stitch marker and add it to the band that's around my hook. So for this, I'm going to temporarily fasten off and I'm going to stuff the Spider-Man Tsum Tsum. And I'm just going to be using polyfill. Uh, I got a huge eight ounce bag at Michael's for about $5. So that definitely works. You guys, if you don't have any, you can use cotton balls and anything you can really find to stuff it. And we just want to um, grab a small amount and you don't want to overstuff him to the point where the bands are stretching uh, because then it over time it becomes deformed and it doesn't last very long. Okay, so that is about enough for me. Um, you want to make sure that when you roll it, um, not a bunch of stuffing comes out. Um, and as you can see, you can't entirely, like, um, see the stuffing inside my creation right now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go on to round 18, which is the last and final round. All right, so for round 18, we're going to be decreasing all the way around. Um, so we're not doing any single crochets in this round. I'm just going to be decreasing in my blue color. And this will be my last and final um, row around. Make sure you're not um, uh, catching the stuffing when you loop or hook. Um, that way it doesn't weave in between your bands, then um, it doesn't look as clean in the end. And we're just going to continue decreasing. Until we reach our stitch marker. And if any stuffing tries to escape, just try and push it down with your thumb. Alright, so this is my last decrease. I'm just going to continue decreasing it. Now I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of a hole. I'm going to take my hook and just um, go through as many bands in the hole as I can. And then grab a single blue band. And I'm going to slip knot that shut. And make sure it's pretty tight because this is your creation. And if that comes undone, the entire thing comes undone. All right. And so for this stuffing, you can either um, pull it out. That's like kind of hanging outside of your creation. Or you can just try and put it back in. All right. And now what we're going to do is in order to hide this, we're going to go in through our design with our hook and pull that slip stitch through. Okay, and that is my finished Spider-Man design. I do hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and follow me on my Instagram. 
uh, subscribe for more weekly videos um, and tutorials, and I will see you guys next time.